It's the dead of winter, the cold of night, the deepest, darkest time of the year, a time when things get a little spooky, a little scary. I just farted. Also, I'm here with Addison Peacock and Henry Galley. Uh, I, I so hoped you were going to say a little spooky, a little scary, a little skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> a little skeleton. Hi, I'm Addison Peacock, aka <laughs> Lil Skeleton. Yes, Addison's rap name, Lil Skeleton. Oh, Lil Skeleton. <laughs> and I'm Nacho Libre. Welcome to terrible two sentence horror stories. I'm not going to use uh, language that's too coarse during the first minute, but uh, this video was actually Addison's idea. Oh, Addison no. came up as. And said, oh, I'm not laying the blame because this is going to be great. Okay. But Addison came up and was like, hey, there's this new Twitter account, which is uh, bad two sentence horror stories. <laughs> and it showed some of them to me. And they had me laughing my ass off. And because a weird amount of this channel's content has come from like like reading Twitter stuff, you know, things like the original Lily Orchard, two professional writers, the uh, this video isn't funny with John Quaintance's whiteboard. Um, it just felt like a natural progression, really. Some say his ass is still missing to this day. <laughs> also, considering that uh, Henry and I did a bonus episode on the Patreon that was reading legitimate two-sentence horror stories, and it inevitably devolved in us creating a bunch of weird characters to feature in skits, um, you could check that out there and think of this video as kind of a spiritual successor for that on the main channel. Yes, and it's going to be fucking bonkers. Okay. I was just going to say, like, many sequels out there that are direct to, to video. This time, they added girl. Yeah. <laughs> Dire gentlemen, scary stories. Now with girl. <laughs> it's me. I'm girl. <laughs> I am girl. <laughs> Shall we begin our tale, our tiny tales of terror? Totally. Our spooky, tiny, little skeleton tales. Um, quick question before we start. Should I read the names of the writers considering we're reading these out to clown or should we leave them anonymous? Leave them their dignity. Yeah. yeah. All right, I won't read them out then. All right, first one. <laughs> I was always interested in being an entomologist until I saw the anal bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that make you more interested? I don't know, depending on like... That depends on the person, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I have a lot of follow-up questions for this person that will never be answered because it's a two-sentence horror story, and they've probably... Go for it. I'll, I'll role-play. I'll role-play as the entomologist. <laughs> Ask me any questions you want about the anal bugs, Addison. <laughs> How did you... Did you encounter the anal bugs for yourself? Did you see them in the wild? How do you know they're anal bugs? I, I just... The questions are endless. Yeah, because, like, if you saw them, I presume that you were facing forward at them, so I don't know how effective they were <laughs> at being anal bugs. <laughs> a friend of mine was fisting me, and while they were doing it, they are like, huh, weird texture in here today. Oh, Henry. God, Henry. And I was like, oh, no, it's the anal bugs. Oh, and I'm an entomologist, so I can identify them immediately. <laughs> Yeah. And I don't like them. Did you discover the anal bugs? <laughs> the bad news is you've got a new species of bugs up your ass. The good news is we're naming them after you. That's that's something you say to someone who's in a really bad mood. You say, what n what new species of bugs is being discovered in your ass? <laughs> oh my god, you're so right. The whole like, bug crawled up their ass and died. That was the anal bug. <laughs> The anal bugs. See, here's the thing. If I was someone who like was concerned about anal bugs being a thing, I'd want to become an entomologist because I'd want to be prepared for them. Yeah. If they were priority number one to me, then like yeah. I'd want to know more about them, right? Oh yeah. I would become an entomologist to learn how to stop the scourge of anal bugs. I would become an anal bug to stop the scourge of entomologists. <laughs> this wouldn't be the Dodge Enema channel. This would just be like the anal bug awareness channel, the AAC. And all of the videos would be called Beware the Anal Bugs. And it's just us screaming, wearing, like, instead of tinfoil hats, it's like tinfoil underwear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like if you made it the Anal Bug Awareness Channel and you kept the B in, it would be a back, which is where the <laughs> anal bugs go. And how I'm taken when I learn about the anal bugs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. All right. The next one is, I was having a good day at the mall. <laughs> Then I remembered I murdered my entire family a week ago and buried them in the basement walls. I will scupper a day at the mall. Why would you go to the mall? Um, because Christmas shopping doesn't stop just because you murdered your family. Who are you yes, buying them for? Yes, it does. For? You have no one to give gifts to. 
no man is a failure who has friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know who your mates are they're the ones you can call and say hey can you help me bury my entire family i murdered and they're like oh yeah sure, man. <laughs> really quick I'll question um what do you, what store do you think our narrator was at when he remembered his family was in the walls N- N- nordstrom's <laughs> <laughs> see i think he was getting an auntie annie's pretzel <laughs> yeah. wow this is just like the way i twisted my mother to fit her in the crawl space <laughs> This pretzel oh reminds me God. of my wife's bones. They're delicious. <laughs> I love just the idea of like like riding like one of those like little like coin operated horses like in front of like the 7-Eleven just like yee wee. Oh no, I remembered I murdered my whole family. He's in like an electronics store and he sees a pair of skull candy headphones and he's like, "Ah, oh, just like the skulls." <laughs> Of my family. <laughs> he looks at he looks over and sees a Silent Hill game and he says, Yeah, it's pretty much like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is just like when I smothered my wife. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> we go to the Riley and Oh, we have one of the Lafferson twins with us today. Oh we do, <laughs> so it's you true. Know it's it's true. Be a good one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wouldn't it be so terrible if you're <laughs> if you got attacked by the anal bugs while you're killing your family? <laughs> That man, that sucks. <laughs> and then, yeah, that, that sucks. That sucks. Oh my god. All right, next one. Uh, so it starts with the word Christmas, but they've misspelled it as Churstmas. <laughs> Churstmas? So it says Churstmas, and then in parenthesis, I kill my family on Christmas. That's the first line. <laughs> and then the second line is Just a week away. <laughs> What is Churstmas? The day he kills his family, weren't you fucking listening? Yeah, yeah his name is Hosaz Churst. I forgot. <laughs> the anti <anti-crumst. laughs> He's the anti Churst. Just a week away, lads. I hope you've got your coast for shopping ready. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Jesus, Churst. Churstmas. You'll remember. This is- You'll be in the thing. Oh, I can't wait to get my family these gifts for Christmas. <laughs> oh no way! I already killed them. Oh, double! Oh no way! What will I do on Christmas now if I've already done it? <laughs> I think in the lore of this, I think you read those in the wrong order because, like, the the second one is clearly a sequel to this one. <laughs> but what would he be? Why would he be? Oh, maybe Christmas is just before Christmas. And then he's at the mall. Yeah. Okay, Christmas activity is done. Now I'm just gonna go Christmas shopping. <laughs> oh shit! I killed my family on Christmas. That's right. God. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I killed my wife. I killed my, my wife. wife. <laughs> my wife. All right, so we're ready for the next one. Oh, always. Yes. Yeah. I ordered a hot dog, and I swear the ketchup on it was the best I ever tasted. That's the first sentence. The second sentence is: I asked the vendor what brand it was, and he said, "It's meant to be that's," but he spelled it "thafs." That's not ketchup. That's blood from a dead child. <laughs> <laughs> that's not ketchup. That child was very ill. His blood had been replaced with tomato sauce. <laughs> yeah. It continues at the uh, the logical point from here, where it's like, oh wow, it's pretty good. Can I get some more of that? Do they do they sell that in stores? Or are you like the only port of call? Cool? Um, how about so, like, my question, which is, why did the vendor let him eat that fucking hot dog? <laughs> Maybe it's an evil vendor. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Like, this is a this is clearly like a weird and strange story because I just find it so unbelievable that any kind of like modern vendor would ever get their product by exploiting dead children. Like, that just never happens in our modern capitalist world. That's true. See, I don't. I have trouble believing it because I can't imagine someone enjoying a hot dog. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine a version of ketchup that is actually delicious. Uh, how dare you? That's all ketchup. <laughs> I can't believe it's not ketchup. It's the blood of a dead child. <laughs> That's the blood of a dead child. I really thought Addis was going to say, I can't believe it. I've tasted child blood, and really, it's nothing special. <laughs> <laughs> if we've got Addison's vampire up on screen now. I don't do child blood. I'm morally opposed to veal. Thank you so much. That's very true. And yeah, it's, it's I, I don't think aged. they're ripe yet at that age. Like they're not ripe. Wine. Like a fine <laughs> wine. All like right. a fan That's wine. like if you want a glass of wine and you just eat a grape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. It's it basically true. becomes wine in me, doesn't it? <laughs> I think that's the science. Anyway, oh my next God. we have I swiftly reached for my gun and shot the intruder who single handedly murdered my family. 
A lot of family murder in there. <laughs> well, it is anyway. Christmas. <laughs> let me let me get let me guess. It was me. I killed them and I shot myself. <laughs> no, even weirder. You can't kill the devil, Jeremy. He said with glowing red eyes as the bullet hole slowly closed. Sorry, Jeremy. Oh no, Jeremy. <laughs> that was the devil. <laughs> I guess it's, because that's really frightening if your name is Jeremy. God, can you imagine being named Jeremy? That's so scary. <laughs> yeah, people would, like, call you Jeremy in elementary school. It'd be hell. And then when you grow up, they'd call you Jerma and make fun of this, like, rat animation you made on an early Windows game. <laughs> and then the devil murders your family. Yes. Weird just to add insult rats. to injury. So the idea that, like, like I don't know, the, the devil, it just doesn't seem his style to, not that I know him personally, but, like, <laughs> then you hear, it seems a little bit small time for him to be, like, doing home invasion. No, it does. Also, um, maybe I'm wrong, but don't people tend to use, like, single-handedly and abuse, like, before something, like, impressive? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this dude single-handedly killed my whole family. What a be? Maybe, like, in a technical sense, he killed them all with one of his hands. <laughs> Judo chop. Just them going down <laughs> one by one. Judo chopped them all. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. The devil do judo chopped my family. <laughs> In another world? <laughs> what I what I love about this is just that, like, the addition of Jeremy is what strips all the fear out of this. It's so good. <laughs> it's just like, why would you be so... Maybe the person who's writing this was called Jeremy, and they're just thinking, well, they say you should write what you know. I know I'm called Jeremy. <laughs> I know what it's like to be a guy <laughs> named Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah. I know the struggle. The Nobody knows what it's like to be Jeremy. <laughs> to be Jeremy. I, I want to say for context, there's a weird amount of Christmas-based ones on this. This is coming out in January, but we recorded this the day after Christmas. So That's why. If you're still mm-hmm. feeling a bit of that Christmas magic at home, this will be why. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, this next one. Um, tell me if either of you can relate to this. <laughs> I excitedly unwrapped my Christmas gifts labeled from Santa as I thought I wouldn't get anything from him this year because I was no longer a child. That was until I realized the gift wasn't from regular Santa. It was from evil Santa. <laughs> I heard my laughing that it? upstairs. That was it. Is that the whole story? Because <laughs> it leaves it to the imagination exactly what evil Santa got him. What do you, okay. what do you think evil Santa got him? <laughs> Tell us down in the comments, what did you think evil Santa got? I'm just going to call him Jeremy for, for Christmas. Uh, I think he just got him a card and inside he wrote, Merry Christmas, Jeremy. <laughs> a full bottle of Baff Snotch Ketchup, it's children's blood. <laughs> you shouldn't this have. Is the, this is the best Christmas ever. You really, morally, you really shouldn't have. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, damn. I opened the Christmas presents from Santa and it was my whole dead family. <laughs> I thought it was a really big box. I'm going to just put my character writing like hat on for a second and just imagine it would be really funny if evil Santa's motivation is like, do you know what it's like going through every year being told that you're evil Santa instead of Santa? <laughs> yeah. Imagine of course saying... I'm giving people bad gifts. What if evil Santa actually gives you like the dope shit that santa never brings you like what if evil santa just like he's only evil because we live in a puritanical society but he really just brings you like some tabs of acid or some really good yeah, weed it's, oh it's, my god it's like weed <laughs> nudie mags guns yeah all the things kids want on church <laughs> he gives you he makes it he makes it snow blow yeah. <laughs> like all outside his, his trademark blow globes a key to the playboy <laughs> mansion yeah <laughs> Thanks, evil Santa. <laughs> That's so fucking ridiculous. I love this. By the way, what's great about this, and this will be on the screen, because I presume Gus is going to put them all up there, between the first and second sentence is, sorry, this post has been removed by the moderators of slash two sentence horror. <laughs> <laughs> it was too powerful for them. <laughs> yeah, they, they too were evil. too frightened of evil Santa. <laughs> Speaking of, this next one, I never liked looking in the mirror, me too, King. But I never liked looking in the mirror. And the second sentence, because whatever looked back at me was always the evil version was, was me off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I hate when I see the evil version of me, was me of. No, was, was me off. It's him, was, was me of, the evil one. The reason this got fucked up 
at the end was because the evil version like got them as they were typing. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, and the key you... smashes were auto corrected into was was me all. <laughs> That that's that's so funny because like this wouldn't be scary on its own, but it became even less scary because of that typo. Oh yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, wow, I don't like. Because the thing is, as we discussed on the uh, Patreon uh, audio, which you should definitely go and check out, one dollar a month for two podcasts a month. Oh, what a great deal! Ah! Such a good deal. Anyway, um, what a perfect yeah, Christmas yeah, gift. Deal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just for skin. But evil but Santa won't get you family. that. Only dire <laughs> yeah. claws will get you that. But, <laughs> dire but, claws. The thing is, they're all just like horror pared down to the most basic setup and payoff in the sense that it's kind of structured just like a little joke. So you really <laughs> have to stick the landing because like the landing is <laughs> all there is. Yeah. Like, but that's a, the a thing. horror movie, you can have a bit of a lame ending, but like if the middle was like really like tense and frightening and interesting you can still enjoy it there is no middle in two sentence horror story that's the thing about was was me of is that like there's not sticking the landing completely and then there's breaking your leg on the way down and shitting your leotard <laughs> that's what happened to the famous russian gymnast was was me of <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> never forget our comrade pour one out Mm, it's very sad. Poor guy. You got Sammy a little blue. Was was me of? <laughs> that was my shitty Russian. I hope you, uh, the few people watching this who speak Russian liked it. Better Russian than we could do if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I gotta say, uh, I'm loving this video already because I love these ones that just descend into just genuine madness. Well, that's where Evil Santa lives. <laughs> yeah, he lives in genuine lives madness. In <laughs> You've heard of the North Pole. He lives in the butthole with the anal box. <laughs> They're his helpers, like the elves. When, when that guy opened the box, he got the anal box. <laughs> they came out at him. Evil Santa just laughing in the background. Yeah, but if he'd waited a second longer, he would have seen that the anal bugs were spelling out Merry Christmas. <laughs> My life before I had seen the anal bugs was was me gone. <laughs> What's next, Henry? This is genuine insanity. It was only five nights. It shouldn't be that hard, I said to myself. That was when I realized Freddy Fazbore was in the room. <laughs> Not Freddy Fazbore. He's a bore. <laughs> he's evil and dull. <laughs> That's just Freddy Fazbear's boring cousin. Yeah. I, I was literally it's just imagining sweet. him as, like, a wild boar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need my AR-15. 20 to 50 of them are coming in. The <laughs> These <fast> wild hogs. <laughs> they mean business. Fuck. Listen, if you take our guns away, how am I supposed to deal with the 20 to 40, uh, 40 uh, feral anal bugs <laughs> that come into my yard? They're too small to shoot. Oh, wouldn't it be terrifying if the anal books were really big, actually? <laughs> they're, Shit. they're the size of, like, Omu from Nausicaa. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I don't like that Not at all. Not Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> Fucking Freddy Fazbear. The most... That's like a... Um, you, you ever go to, like, a, a seaside? I don't know if this happens in the, in the US, but definitely in the UK. In the seaside, uh, they have, like, fairs near them sometimes. Yeah. And... All mm. of them will be covered in, like, shitty, like, definitely, like, against copyright law versions of, like, famous characters. And Freddy Fazbear is 100% <laughs> like the getting around the copyright police. Oh, that's, like, what we have yeah. in, in Hollywood. Like, when you go down Hollywood Boulevard, there's, like, unlicensed peep characters, like, just kind of, like, hanging around. There's, like, Man Spider and, like, fucking Elmore and, like... <laughs> hey, kids, come get a picture with Freddy Fazbear. Ignore the wet patch slowly expanding over my groin. <laughs> oh, 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 look, it's his little friend, Chew the Electric Mouse Man. Oh, God. <laughs> his little friend was was me off. <laughs> was was me off. God, How man. dare you invoke right, his name? He's one. a fallen hero. <laughs> yeah, never forget. How dare you stand where he hobbled. Oh, he fucked up that dismount royally. Good. Next. Oh, let's, give me. Lay, lay one I on thought, me. What's next? I thought <sighs> I had the biggest penis of all. Then I saw the penis ghost. <laughs> That's just a Henry Galley what? story. Yeah, you so, made that one up. No, no, the thing is, I didn't make this up, but I did write a story with a ghost penis in it. 
Yeah, you I, did. I never released it, but it was a story <laughs> called The Grifter. And it was about a, like, a, a first person thing told by, like, a really, like, shitty, awful narrator who um, planned to make a racket out of, like, catfishing dick pics out of people and blackmailing them. And one of the people who he did it to ended up, like, killing themselves out of shame. And that night, a giant ghostly dick <laughs> came into the guy's house. And, and came. like the foreskin came back, it and came there was a giant the guy's face house. underneath, and it killed the guy. Oh my god! <laughs> I'll see oh if I can find god. that. We'll put that in the description. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ, man! <laughs> I'm just imagining like the penis ghost is like it's a composite specter of every penis to ever have fallen. Oh hell <laughs> like, yeah! They've all they've all like they've all come together. And they all come together. Yeah. And come together. And come together. <laughs> Viagron, the penis ghost. <laughs> Viagros. Oh, God. Could be good friends the with infinite. Splodo, the blow-up ghost, which you'll get if you subscribe to the Patreon. See, I right. imagine the penis yeah. ghost is a ghost that has the world's biggest penis, but it's not where you think. <laughs> If, you, if your erection persists for more than 3,000 years... <laughs> you might be the penis ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Have the less successful Jeff night? Foxworthy bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You, you might be the penis ghost. <laughs> <ghost. laughs> but have you seen Talladega Nights, you two? The Absolutely. WB? So I'm just thinking, I like to imagine my penis ghost. <laughs> oh, God. As a ghost made of penises. God. If your cock ring has another cock ring on it, you might be the penis <laughs> ghost. <laughs> oh, they just never go out of style. Evelyn is somewhere laughing her ass off. Oh, it's so good. <sighs> Are you ready for the next one? I'm always ready for the next yeah. one. I'm watching some football with my friend Joel. That's the first one. <laughs> okay. Second. It was so scary. Tell you what, I'm going to ask each of you, you get one guess each. Where is this going to go? Like, where do you think I'm watching some football with my friend Joel is going to go? You first, Joel's Addison. been dead for 20 years. Okay, what do you think, Joel's Gus? been dead for 30 years. <laughs> Ooh, no, um, uh, the, the football is there, a bunch of people kicking feet around a field. <laughs> okay. The actual answer is, unfortunately for him, Joel is going to explode into bloody chunks of delicious human meat in about three minutes and 52 seconds. <laughs> Why is he going to do that? Yeah, I would advise against that, Joel. <laughs> Joel, <laughs> yeah, Joel, Joel that, that seems like, listen, Joel, I, I understand that we had nachos this evening, but <laughs> you gotta, you gotta take a moment. Joel's team loses and he explodes into bloody chunks. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I, oh my god, we've, we've all been there, the we've all is, seen the guy who got two into football and exploded into <laughs> bloody chunks. I, I appreciate the efficiency of this, because this tells you so much, like, okay, watching football, his friend Joel... This this main character, he somehow knows not only that Joel is going to explode, but can, like, accurately predict it down to the second, and bloody chunks of delicious human meat. So we know this guy's either a cannibal or some kind of monster. Some kind of creature. Creature. <laughs> creature. I actually think this is excellent writing. I think this shouldn't have been here. I actually think this is the best one we've had so far, unironically. That's just where, like, every movie should go. It's like, first act, doing an activity. Second act, bloody chunks. The latest have you seen Michael the movie Hennigan. Spontaneous? Yeah, that's basically the plot of that, isn't it? That's a great movie, though. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm not being funny. It's a, it's actually a really fucking good movie about, like, survivor's guilt. But it is also a movie where people explode. <laughs> Are, are you ready for the next one? Give us the next one. I watched him scream because I killed him. <laughs> See, I was hoping so badly there would be a, I watched him scream, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> that's not ice cream. That's the blood of a dead child. <laughs> also, just like, I watched him scream because I killed him. It's like he presumably stopped screaming at some point. <laughs> no, right? that's the I mean horror. That would actually be oh, kind of scary. Man. Like, imagine, like, a kind of telltale heart thing of, like, they kill the guy, but, like, he keeps screaming no matter how much, like, the body is chopped up. Yeah. No, it would be really horrifying if you, like, killed somebody and then they, like, because of some glitch in reality, they just ragdolled in the air and continued to scream. <laughs> Fuck. Have you guys seen that glitch from Heavy Rain? Yes. Where it's, it's just, Sean! Sean! Even when he's holding Sean for his ex. Sean! No! <laughs> that game was so fucking broken! Sean! It's so good. Jason! Jason! It's so fucking good! So, 
It's going to take Herculean strength for me not to laugh while I read this one out. Okay. It's <laughs> a good sign. I, I want I want you guys to pay respects to me by also trying not to laugh. That's what I'm okay. going to do. I'm going to it's going to take we some Herculean yep. strength for me as well. I'm going to dig deep into myself and look for those anal bugs and be as quiet as I can. Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, finally, I'm all alone. I said to myself <laughs> as I sat in my bedroom at midnight. No, you're not, said Knife Guy. <laughs> you know, Knife Guy needs to know when the party's over, <laughs> when he's no longer invited. No more, Mr. Knife Guy. <laughs> <laughs> knife Guy's finished laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Here I am. It's me, Knife Guy. Knife to meet you. <laughs> listen, listen. One of my parents was a knife. The other was a person. I'm not gonna one. One was a guy. One was a knife. That's all I'm saying. That's how I was born. I'm knife guy. Oh, knife guy. I um. Oh, knife guy. He didn't have a very long career with the Avengers. <laughs> <Just gonna stab him. laughs> he actually was the one who killed Thanos, but they thought, oh, it's a bit dark. He really just like eviscerated him. He just slashed him open, like. <laughs> whoa, whoa, knife guy! Save some Thanos for the merch. We still need to sell merch of that guy. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say save some Thanos for us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> save some Thanos. Thanos, for us. the other other white meat. <laughs> the, the only purple meat. Thanos, it's what's for dinner. <laughs> Th Thanos, the purple meat, gross out your siblings when you eat Thanos. Your parents will hate it. It'll give you dysentery. Thanos, the purple meat. It's the 2000s, and everyone loves to eat purple Thanos. I'm thinking, Thanos, it has exactly half the calories of other meat. Part of a perfectly balanced diet. Yeah. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> fun, fun bit of inside baseball here. Before this was recorded, I said to Addison, "You have to watch our video where we covered the Vore writing tips because there is one hundred percent going to be Vore jokes." And I was right. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Okay, so all I'm going to say is, Knife Guy should go home. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Knife Guy. It's just sad. It's midnight. You have to <laughs> just this idea of like Knife Guy. You have to talk to her. You can't keep sleeping here. Oh my god, I'm imagining though, I'm thinking of Knife Guy as, I'm gonna accidentally, this is like a Troper Fails video, I'm just splitting myself open here. Watch out for the anal bugs, but I... <laughs> 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 when no. I was in college and I really liked somebody, I would do this very sad thing where I would just kind of like be around until maybe they realized that I was like a convenient option who was there. So I Aww. would routinely be the oh, last no. person to leave a party if like the person I was into was still there. Um, and I'm imagining Knife Guy just really wants to hook up with the narrator. So he's just waiting. <laughs> he's just <laughs> sitting <laughs> and he won't go home. This is not the mental image I should have of that, but I'm just picturing at the end of the party, just Addison in the corner doing like tricks with a butterfly knife. <laughs> like, just you and me. <laughs> yeah, well, look at look at this. Ooh. That makes it much cooler and much less sad than it was, which was like me standing with like a rum and coke just like in the corner pretending I was still very into the shitty EDM that was playing. <laughs> No, you're you're right. It, it's much more like fun to just imagine like, whoa, I got in so into my knife tricks, I lost track of time. Guess I'm still here. All right. <laughs> what do you say we make out? Yeah. Any any romantic question is way more loaded and sinister when you've got a knife. <laughs> to me, a knife guy is like the ratta toying of Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the two knives. Oh my god. And so I imagine that this relationship actually went well for these two for a while, but then they broke up, and this guy says to Knife Guy, you cut me deep, Knife Guy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Um, I, I feel like... Uh... I always thought I loved your sharp observations. Oh, God. This is some Austin Powers level shit. We... Leave a uh, leave a comment down below if, if you would date Knife Guy. <laughs> <laughs> would you treat Knife Guy right? This is actually yeah. the movie audition, but we're trying to find a wife for Knife Guy so Knife, knife guy, guy can become a wife guy. <laughs> yes. Knife Guy wants to become wife guy. In the end, there's a woman using, like, razor wire to cut off his handle. <laughs> you shouldn't have lied to me. <laughs> That's how I want to go. 
<laughs> All right. Run to the next one now. Please. My knife. My knife. <laughs> <laughs> If Borat was a murderer. I'm going to audition both of you if you don't stop that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Next one. Barry loved to play in the snow, but so did the meat worm. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Barry, the meat worm love the snow? <laughs> because snow is nice, Gus. Don't be rude. No, but I mean, he's a meat worm. Doesn't he love meat? Like, why is he? I guess there's just more l- lore about meat worm that I wish I knew in order to process this well, story. Well, you're telling me you don't know meat worm? <laughs> Listen, no, if I tried to worm. fill in the blanks about meat worm and create head cannons, I'd just be doing the writer's <laughs> job. And at the end of the day, they gotta tell us this stuff, or we're just gonna get confused about the lore, and the cannon will be completely destroyed. Meat worm ending explain. <laughs> <laughs> Ding! Cinema sin number one. Uh, why does the meat worm go in the snow? <laughs> Shouldn't he be going in the meat with the other anal bugs? You can see some kind of meat worm in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Death battle. Meat worm versus anal bugs. Who wins? My money's on meat worm. He loves the snow. He can deal with hardier environments than the human anus. You know, no matter how you guys feel about Miss Tuesday's horror story, I think it's a really brave direction for them to take Barry season three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Hader and his co-star, the Meat Worm, go on Conan to the discuss meat worm. the epic starring the Meat Worm as itself. <laughs> meat Worm is just a failed clone of Meat Loaf. <laughs> <laughs> no. It came out really, like, cylindrical. He bursts out of the snow and he's like, hop a do that, bless my soul! I really love that rock and roll! Meat Loaf and an Earthworm went into the machine from the fly. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Do anything for snow, but I won't do that. He's a worm. He loves snow, but he was never able to be fully meatloaf. But two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> like a bug out of ass, he'll be gone by the morning light. Like a bug out of ass, I'll be gone when the morning comes. Oh no. I'll be gone when the penis ghost comes. <laughs> <laughs> we are losing our fucking minds. All right, next we've got the building was abandoned. Except for my parents and my dog and my house again. What? I genuinely Wait. don't know what to make of that. What? I feel like my, I feel like like my brain just did the equivalent of when you were like walking with a disc in a Walkman and it skipped. I don't understand what just happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, it was all, but it was only me and my dog and my mom and my house was was over. All right, I read it again. I read it again. So. You philistines can appreciate true art. The building was abandoned, except for my parents and my dog and my house again. I don't understand. I genuinely don't know. Is what's the going house on. alive? What is? What is it? Yeah, some kind of monster this? house? Wait, no, no, no. Their house is inside of the building. Maybe it's a flat. It's probably. It's probably like. A, a flat, like, two-dimensional space if it can fit inside another building. I can't even... I don't even know what to do with that one. What do you have for me next? <laughs> I was eating a cheeseburger, and then I realized something was off. Dot, 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 dot. That was when I realized my nuts were floating. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> like, you went to Five Guys, and you got some free peanuts, obviously, yeah. and you put them next to your burger, um, and while you were eating the burger, they started floating <gasps> away. Weird. This Five Guys is haunted. There's a sixth guy in this place. <laughs> And he's not alive! It's the ghost of the sixth guy. <laughs> the five guys conspired to murder him to get like an even five part split of the profits. Yep. Oh my god, and he's haunting the peanuts because he's all he got was peanuts. Because they stole all the money. Yeah. The fifth guy split away and became the Burger King. Oh fuck. Five guys at Freddy's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, five guys at Freddy Fazbores. <laughs> Freddy Frazbore. <laughs> Frody Frostball. That was a pretty <laughs> solid story about a haunted five guys. I don't know why that was on here. Yeah, let's get the movie rights to that, you yeah. guys. Yeah, can, can we option the f- haunted five guys? Sixth, sixth guy. The sixth the movie. guy, directed by M. Night Shyamalan and written by us three. Yes. Come on, M. Night, get on the phone. Look at all the free marketing we gave you for the beach that makes you old. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
We will give so you this multi-million like dollar idea if you retitle the movie to The Beach That Makes You Old. Yeah. <laughs> Henry, I love I love the framing you did with that because it sounded like M. Night Shyamalan was advertising for the real beach that makes you old <laughs> rather than a film about a beach that makes you old. The movie is just about how great it would be to go to that beach. Are you sick of being Wouldn't young? Wouldn't it be nice if we were older then we wouldn't have to wait so long. It's Wouldn't it's it be nice that... if we were older because we went to the beach that makes you old. That makes you old. Well, my favorite band. <laughs> Wait, is that the pet shop? No, it's the Beach Boys. It's the Beach that makes you old, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, Starring the beach old men. Brian Wilson and the other one. Wait, so in this next one, the first sentence is just the word oof. Oof? Oof. oof. Okay. So, Same. Wow, oof. Oof. <laughs> not all foods taste good. Especially not human blood. And now it's the hot dog guy. I think he had some pretty strong opinions on this. I think there's a contradiction here. Yeah, the lore is is not a, yeah, a, wait. the lore is not consistent. Maybe in this human universe. blood is like marmite. You either love it or hate it. Mm. Also, <laughs> yeah, not all foods taste good. Who told this man that all foods taste good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of one of the main things about foods is that like their tastes are very different and thus subjective. Yeah, he's just a real optimist. He loves every single food. <laughs> Except human blood. To be fair, he was hanging out with a real, like, weird crowd if they were classifying human <laughs> blood as a food. <laughs> hey, man, do you want to try this human blood? Yeah, hey, Henry. Right the Red Henry Cross. and Gus. If I... <laughs> sure, I'll try everything. All foods yeah, taste hey, good. Hey, Henry and Gus, if I told you guys, hey, do you want to get some food, and then I took you to a blood bank, what would you do? <laughs> I'd say, wow, we really picked an accurate monster sona for you, Addison. <laughs> True. <laughs> I'm like, this doesn't sustain us. It's fine for you. This is why you love the Vampire Diary so much. You're like, this is just like my life. <laughs> I wish, I wish that my life was having two like hot CW actors fight over me while I somehow get good grades, even though I don't go to school because I'm busy being with vampires. I mean, that really is the goal for everybody. That really is the like, dream. That's, that's aspirational. I mean, her parents are both dead at the start of that show, so it's not all the way aspirational. you, you got to take the good with the bad. It's, it's like true. the blood. Maybe it only tastes nice when it's from specifically a dead child and it's on a hot dog. It's It would be gross to just, like, eat a spoonful of ketchup. So, like, maybe human blood is only good on a hot dog. It's exact exactly, exactly. What are we... This is mm. dangerous. All right, <laughs> next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I had spine surgery last year to fix a serious injury. When I went for my checkup today, the doctor touched my spine and said, so that's where my pet snake went. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Snake spine. Snake spine. This may be the worst doctor of all. This is how you become the meat worm. <laughs> this doctor brought his pet snake to the hospital. <laughs> Bring your snake to work day at the hospital. <laughs> The snake really wanted to watch surgery. I love the idea of, like, we're not losing this guy. Hand me the scalpel. <laughs> Wait, that's a snake. Oh, well. Yeah. I'm putting it in. Uh. It's like the, like, really late seasons of Dr. House. It's like, damn, he's unconventional, but he gets results. <laughs> this man has chronic <laughs> snake spine. <laughs> <laughs> this man has a case of snake for a spine. Literally, though, it's like that episode of House where they find out that the guy has a cockroach in his ear, except they find out this guy's whole spine is a snake. <laughs> I'd rather have a cockroach in my ear than anal books. <laughs> He's he has MS, as in a massive snake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking so yeah, I, I thought I heard just this weird hissing sound throughout the year. <laughs> but hey, it was a good surgery because this guy came in for his yearly checkup. Yeah, wait. He didn't even notice. So honestly, did it really hurt anything? Yeah, this guy's brilliant. Yeah, he's fine. This is like that episode of Seinfeld where the junior mint falls into the guy when he's having surgery and then it cures him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Does the snake control him now? Like, has he, has <laughs> he become one with the snake? Them. It's like Ratatouille. <laughs> but from within. <laughs> if Remy the rat would teach you to be really good at, like, cooking, what would the spine snake make you really good at? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, Henry. This is only like Ratatouille if Remy the rat crawled inside of Linguini's skin. It was sewn into Linguini's spine. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, pulled on his nerves. 
<laughs> what if Linguini realized, like, halfway through Ratatouille, it's like, ah, uh, yes, rats make me better at cooking. I will surgically implant myself with as many <laughs> rats as possible and become the greatest chef in history. This is like if uh, Remy, instead of getting to Linguini, accidentally got to Richard Gere on a French holiday. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Richard. I know it's not true. It's just funny. <laughs> God. All right. Oh no. Are you ready for the next uh, one? Always. Yes. I was walking on top of my dad, but I had my razor shoes on. <laughs> Fuck yes. No, stop. You will not hop. You will not hop on top of pop. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wear your wa- razor shoes in the house, you absolute heathen. Don't wear your razor <laughs> shoes on the dad. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around in my razor shoes. <laughs> Here's the next one. I was going to the store to buy milk, and then when I opened the fridge, I. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to the store to buy milk, and when I opened the fridge and find my father's remains. <laughs> then what happened? That's it. It's like, no. oh yeah, it was Christmas yesterday. <laughs> Finding your father's remains in the fridge, that is Christmas leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> this Christmas feels like the very church Christmas to me. <laughs> this is madness. Like I love that. Like most of these will just they'll have a completely unrelated setup and just try to hit you with the dead family. Yes. Like I would, I would pay my life savings to have Junchi Ito <laughs> illustrate all of these. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I would give absolutely anything to see that. If we were Crunchyroll, that's what we would be making that poor man do right now. All those like meme videos where he's just like, oh, I don't want to be here, but I'll smile through the pain. I love him so much. I I need that. I would replace my spine with a snake in order for that <laughs> to happen. Ito used to be a dentist. I would give him all of my teeth. Yeah. Um, I muffled a sigh to hear police sirens outside my capture's hotel room and that I was going to be saved. Until I realized they were going to kick down the door, which was rigged to fire a shotgun aimed at my head if opened. <laughs> the room deck killer! Yeah, oh my god! god. <laughs> no, I shit you not, this is saved as room deck killer.png? <laughs> no! Oh no, it's the room deck killer. Don't move around too much. If you move, you'll die. <laughs> Can we get Wayne Knight in to do that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my Wayne, god. if you're listening. I'm really surprised you're listening. Also, hi, I like your work. Also, yeah. hi, I'm a big fan. And may yeah, I say, we love doing... hello, yeah. Newman. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. All right, next we've got, I told him not to go into the silly room, but he wouldn't listen. Dot, 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 dot. Let's just say we won't be hearing from David anytime soon. Dot, 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 dot. What happened in the silly because room? Because he's having too much fun in the silly room and he'll never leave. Yeah, so... I'm going to ask this of the commenters. What do you think happens in the silly room? <laughs> but I'm also going to ask you, Addison, what do you propose happens in the silly room? Have you seen Spy Kids? Yes. Is this the, like, Floop's hallucination room? You know that room where um, uh, Floop just has, like, a green screen and he just kind of yeah. vibes? It's like that. Yes. What do you propose it is, Gus? The thing is, this person picked the one word that makes this story feel not scary. Like, if they had used any other word the other anal than bug silly. room <laughs> the anal room <laughs> okay that doesn't sound scary no you're right you're right we'll never hear from him again because he's just embraced that now he's just enjoying himself he died from yeah. bliss <laughs> yeah Skeletal. shout out to alex whittington and bliss anyway sorry continue. oh no jail for 1000 years <sighs> yeah. <sighs> one million years dungeon into the silly room that's who lives there all right what are this next one <laughs> Please don't eat me, three exclamation marks. I cried, but it was too late. My dad was too far into his sleep war. <laughs> this, re- this is revenge of the dads after all the di- dads. I was just going to say, uh, the, the churst mist has become the churst mist. Yeah, you have to yeah. eat your son before he fucking churst mist murders you. <laughs> I'm just, this is just so like, oh, whoa, daddy, don't eat me, no. Cuz, I say this with as much love in my heart as I can. You are projecting onto this. <laughs> yeah, Gus. I'm not, I'm not, oh no, I am. Gus, you have to go to the silly room now. <laughs> I'm always in the silly room. <laughs> Both of these are in quotations. First line, I have to eat. 
Second line. Sorry, Bob. Bob is just the name of his pet pig. <laughs> so this is this is another example of just why'd you have to name it? At least Joel's friend was considerate considerate enough to wait for him to blow up into bloody <laughs> delicious chunks yeah. to eat him. Yeah, he lets Joel like enjoy his last moment watching the football game. Wait, just let just show Bob a football game. He'll explode into <laughs> chunks of delicious yeah. meat. ESPN is fucking hardcore these days. <laughs> Exploding, splattering people network. That's what ESPN stands for. <laughs> no, I just, it's ESPN as in explosion. <laughs> explosion. 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 We are reaching. Just like that guy's reaching for Bob to yeah. eat him. No, 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 no. <laughs> Next we have Nothing I like better than a little bob off the bone yeah. <laughs> Bob with a bit of child blood on top <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Delish Alright, next um, My wife was beautiful My wife was beautiful My wife And then she gave birth to the child Capital T, capital C This guy just hates his kid Yeah yeah, that's just, this is just a boomer's Facebook post Why is this in here? <laughs> she gave birth to baby Yoda <laughs> this is just a guy who thinks that he hates his kid and he thinks his wife is ugly and he's a bad person. Yeah. Next we've got, <laughs> it's amazing how close the water tower looks from here. Wait, I'm on the ground and I'm not coming towards it. It's coming towards me. <laughs> just thought you looked thirsty. Well, that... Is it walking? <laughs> yeah. This is uh, written from someone who was in the finale of Gravity Falls. Yeah. yeah thought, it hydrated them. And then it's going to hydrate me. Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> Your hydration just became dihydration. <laughs> oh, fuck. H2, just... oh no! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the water slaughter. Just when you thought it was safe for the water to go back into you. Back into you? This next one is a horrifying. I was surrounded and bitten repeatedly by wolves in the forest. Mm. Slowly, I, I slowly bled to death as they attacked my body with their sharp teeth. That's just an excerpt okay. from a sad story. <laughs> oh, okay, again, am I am I the only one who think that's like a little? No, I I really oh, did. Yeah. Before he got to like the second sentence, I did go. Mm. So yes, yeah, like, you're not mm, the only one. Yes, like a kind of big virile wolf with like a, a silky coat. And a nice thick knot. Ugh. Stop that! Can we pause Is the this... recording for a second? <laughs> <laughs> what if we were in the woods and we were both wolves and you bit me? Just kidding. Unless. Unless. It's fucking Dial Wolf again. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Back. All right. We have our second to last one. Fuck Are yeah. you ready? First sentence. After several days, I finally escaped the evil, murderous dog. Second sentence. Woof, woof, bark, a woo. Hell yeah. <laughs> and then I became dog and wrote this. <laughs> and then, yeah, what? What? No, the dog took over. Get... The dog got him <laughs> and then wrote the yeah. second half. And then typed that yeah. in onomatopoeias that humans would use about dog well, that's the thing, that's the thing. It makes sense. The, the dog was like, oh, uh, shit, I, I better write like, oh, I'm fine. But he only speaks dog. Yeah. So we wrote it down as woof, woof, bork, a woof. Yes, exactly. Addison, Addison, can you tell the audience real quick about a certain, like the audience and Gus about a certain note on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> this feels like, this feels like it's going to be a scary story in its own. Right? No, I just have a note on my phone that says, <laughs> "Fuck." I was showing, going through my notes on my phone and sort of as I'll wake up in the night and like write shit down that I think is a really good idea. And I have, I have a note on my phone that just says, Bork is Stuckleo. <laughs> Bork is Stuckleo. Wait, Henry, you told me about Bork is Stuckleo. <laughs> the audience what? doesn't know about Bork is Stuckleo. Stolen Valor. Stuck yeah. I'm sorry that I stole your valor, Addison. <laughs> Bork is Stucklio. Yeah, Addison, we were literally saying that, like, Bork is Stucklio is, like, an actor you see credited in, like, a foreign film. <laughs> Bork is Stucklio. <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah, Bork is Stucklio. Starring Bork is Stucklio as the prime minister. <laughs> I'm gonna say, anyone who is this far in and has, like, undergone this madness, I salute you. Please comment Bork is Stucklio <laughs> down below just to let us know you were a Just real so you know genius. how to spell it, it's B-O-R-K is I-S-S-T-U-C-K-L-Y-O. 
book is stuck there. It'll be on the screen. Are you ready yes. for the very last one? Uh, I'm coming home. <laughs> Here first, we go. First sentence. My garbage can smelled like yogurt. Second <laughs> sentence. But I haven't been eating yogurt. Oh, no. What? This is just a problem that everybody who lives alone has. <laughs> like... You, you you let your garbage can go for a couple days and it smells like yogurt. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gus, that sounds like you had a visit from the yogurt ghost. Yeah. No, I suddenly get a visit from the penis ghost. <laughs> Fuck you. That's not yogurt. <laughs> That's not yogurt. <laughs> That's my wife. <laughs> That's the blo- That's the blood of a dead child. <laughs> it's a purple one-eyed yogurt slinger. Oh, yeah. God. My worst enemy. Is that what we cut out of Thanos early? <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> he he snapped his fingers and slung the yogurt over half of everyone, and he was like, "Look, it was not, it was not, it was conditional. I didn't choose where it went." Oh God! <laughs> God. So oh. this has been terrible two sentence stories. This has given me an extra three hundred years of life. <laughs> oh, good! You stole them from <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have extra years. You're a vampire. <laughs> yeah. Fair yeah, you stop hogging all the years, Addison. <laughs> okay, well, maybe if you got in on drinking human blood, which is the tastiest <laughs> food. I am sustained by a single burst of electricity and my contempt for my creator, and that's all I've ever had. Oh, well, that's fair. Listen. I know I'm a lizard man. Not everybody can be sad, bisexual, and full of human blood. <laughs> <laughs> but we can all aspire that's to true. it. That's true. So, exactly. What was your favorite mm. two-sentence horror story, people at home? Please feel free to write your own and see if you can do better. Oh, I'm going to take a long yeah. lay down. I'm going to go Hopefully eat the some penis exactly. ghost won't get me. Oh, the penis ghost. Mm-hmm. Watch out for the anal bugs, everyone. <laughs> and in the end, all we can say is the was was me of. <laughs> <laughs>